everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here is a snippet, a small portion of the questionnaire that they're going on and the parts that need to be uh, focused on. It says, regarding the progress of measures for building the Sanji EN, quarter on quarter continues to show a trend of declining sales, but when do you expect the bottom out? It says, first of all, to add the quantitative point, the plan for the fiscal year, we plan to focus more on growth in Nidhi Sanji in Japan. We do not incorporate numerical growth in Nidhi Sanji EN into our plan. However, we have been working a lot of things for Nidhi Sanji EN. This is what was mentioned uh, in other parts. I would like to briefly supplement that we are currently working from uh, on from Tazumi. We regularly implement Tazumi, which is Riku. says they implement measures such as 3D unveiling, tournament to plan mentioned earlier. Uh, content is easily visible to customers in the VTuber market. By continuing to provide attractive content, we want to strengthen the relationship of trust with our fans. So they want to strengthen relationships, honestly. Pandora says, my mental health is kind of on the low to low today. It's bad, bad. I mean, to switch out when I'm going on stream and move to Hi-Fi Rush next week and do something a little bit more chill. My brain is just, oh, ah, I feel bad moving, changing stream, sorry. So yeah, they're um they're not going to be supported as much, unfortunately. This is bad for Elira. For other people, it's just bad overall. Uh, we do not incorporate numerical growth in Nidhi Sanji EN into our plans. Basically, they're saying they're still going to be supporting them because it's going to look bad pretty much, but they don't want to fully, fully support them anymore. This quote is a little bit out of context, but the quote say, here says, the AR Live has been viewed by many pe more people, many more people than we expected. Of course, we recognize that there have been some changes in our audience behavior, but we want we have once again recognized that there is a certain number of people who continue to support us, and we will fo first focus on those people. So they're focusing on fans that support them, it looks like. Uh, I didn't read the title because the title seems to misrepresent the quote. Uh, this uh, post right here is more representative of what's happening. They're asking about your overseas growth strategy, especially the measures you take on English-speaking countries. Uh, then that's that's the part right there where they mentioned that the AR Live concert in the fourth quarter, more recently been working on 3Ds, all these things, music content project, which pairs people to create release songs. So they're saying they're doing songs, they're doing AR Lives, they're doing performances. And then we have the quote that we just read. And it says below, we, in order to build a relationship of trust with customers, we believe that we need to continue to strengthen the creation of context that will captivate our customers, including 3D unveilings, music content, and tournament-like content. Uh, and profits, we have customers in many countries, regions, and cultural spheres. So we need to take measures into consideration that, you know, there are different things out there and be able to cater to all those different things. They want to expand sales channels, which basically means they want to make more money with, uh, you know, merchandise and things like that. Directly addressing the building of trust and acknowledging cultural differences between Japan and overseas. Uh, it's hardly providing a recovery plan. Wouldn't trust AC management as far as I could throw them. Yeah, basically, they're, they're trying to do cultural th things, but that's not a recovery plan. That's basically just a sales plan from what it looks like. Going into this question here of losing core fan base, Riku is a little bit self-aware saying why that the question was, why expect the steady expansion of the fan base? Have you seen any core fans leaving? How do you anticipate the risk of your core fans abandoning you? And can you tell us what types of cases you have seen where core fans are abandoning you? It says uh, Ta Takumi, which is Riku Takumi, says, again, this is a subjective opinion, but in addition to the risk of VTubers graduating, I also think that backlash or other scandals can cause the fan base to leave. So at least he's aware that there are scandals happening. In order to minimize the occurrence of such incidents, I believe it is necessary to reduce the risk by not only having a training system in place, but also making appropriate releases and responses as a company when an incident actually occurs. So because of the backlash that has happened with EN, because of the situations that have happened with Selene, uh, you know, Selene uh, leaving, Selene and um, also, you know, the things that are, the scandals that have popped up with, uh, recently at least, with uh, Pomu, with Nina, with Mista, the things that have happened, not necessarily scandals, but the issues that they have said, they have mentioned pop up, and the EN fan base has latched onto, he's noticed that some people are leaving. That's what it seems like at first, but his mentioning training system makes it look like he's talking about VTuber caused scandals, or rather than company caused scandals, which would certainly be an interesting perspective. Forward meat shields, protect my share price. Uh, what a great non-answer. Seriously, anyone dabble a bit in management knows that the answer is void of any information. Of course, void of any information. You can take inferences, that's why they do it, so it can be vague, and you can take good inferences, bad inferences, depending on your take of this whole situation. Which is, I mean, I guess that's what investors want. They want something that can follow their narrative. Another response to a question says the variable cost ratio of direct variable costs, which basically the things that cost the money was 48.8%, which I believe was good level compared to the previous quarter and the same period last year. Basically, they're saying uh, due to improvements in cost ratios for commerce, basically saying they, they spent less 
money in commerce, which made them more money in the end by the same commerce like merchandise. Basically, you know, using uh, lower tier things, using lower quality products, using maybe uh, vendors, uh, people who make them, producers that are going to be cheaper for them. The cost to, to actual benefit ratio is a lot higher for them. Uh, I mean, and since the cost is lower, the benefits higher. Uh, we began February and April in careful selection of suppliers. So the suppliers are basically what they're saying. The more we need QA, the more we found out scummy they're being. They're basically doing everything in their power, as we already knew they would do. They're doing every single thing in their power to make as much money as they can with whatever they can. Shortening the suppliers, shortening everything else, it's just a, a greedy corporation, pretty much. This is one that could show uh, the reason why they're doing buybacks. This is particularly about the buybacks. Riku's still gonna be the biggest benefactor because he's gonna have a larger share of everything. And he's also going to um, raise the price of his stocks. So he's a benefactor in that sense. He says, the reason why we prioritize share buybacks is that when we consider the shareholder composition of our company, our representative, Mr. Tagami, owns under 45% of the shares, and if we return dividends, 45% of the return would go to major shareholders rather than minority shareholders. So they're saying that they're doing the buybacks to benefit minority shareholders. When considering the efficiency of returning value to minority shareholders, we believe that a share buyback will return more to minority shareholders than dividends, and so we have chosen to use the share buyback method. That is their excuse for using that. He has about 43%. All others have around 1% to 5%. No one else has enough to mount any challenge to him. Yes, Riku is the main benefactor of the buyback since it boosts his net worth. It definitely does. Like I said before, it boosts how much he's worth. Figured it was wondering if they worded it to buyback benefit shareholders. Uh, let's say you have a share of 100 at 100. Since you're doing a buyback, your share will go up and value, let's say, 200. You sell and won 100. That's what the, the minority shareholders have. Case of dividends, from a share you would reach, receive like 20 cents or something. And you see the buyback can give you more benefits. Of course, Riku is the big winner. He buys cheap and sells expensive. Niji overall seems an easy way to make money to an investor. If you shorted, when it plummeted, you won a lot. And now you buy, you buy those dirt cheap shares. It's a safe win because they rise soon. Exactly. If you bought the shares when they were like near 2,000 and now you uh, can sell after the buyback, which is closer to 3,000, you still made a good benefit you know made me made they maybe made like 30 or 40 percent gain on it maybe still something especially when investing it's a lot this is a short one here in regards to the growth that they are expecting they're saying here basically a machine translates as overseas growth has not been factored into the plan this does not mean that we're not working on it but we are positioning our growth here as an upside so they're saying basically they're discounting entirely the overseas people they're focusing on jp and any new benefits, any new money that they get, any money that they get from the inside is just seen as a plus. It's basically just like, oh, you made money? Cool. I'm glad. But they're not like pushing anything there. They're not trying to create growth or anything of that sort. Automatic translator trades it, translate that as an upside, but it means something different in Japanese business terms. It means as a company, no further sales growth and operating profit margins can be inspected in the medium to long term. That's what it means. It says uh, text image can be translated. We are positioning no growth here to be expected in the long term at least so it's a well time to wait to see if others uh leave now that it's very clear that en is not going to be seen as a priority to them just something as a plus expect favorites to stay because they receive the best treatment they're getting the best money many of the people like i don't know victoria bright shield kunai those people maybe kotoka still seen as a favorite so who knows uh you know other people are, might just leave if they're starting to see, you know, it drop even further and further. They might just leave and, and you know, jump ship. Here is the Any Colors Q&H script. It's like ugh, freaking 40, 50 pages long. I'm not going to go over every single bit of it. People kind of, you know, give a little bit of a rundown down here. Uh, Riku was very disappointed in EN. It doesn't see much of a future for them. Along with other investor reports, indicates that the Niji EN is basically at the end of service announcement stage for their life. Maybe this is why Vox suddenly going back to BFE, despite being many times throughout his year that he says it makes him uncomfortable. All 3D events, all that type of stuff was planning to try to make it better for them. Some bits from the docs here, increase in focus in JP branches. So they're going to be moving to JP more than anything, which makes sense because they makes a lot of money and EN is going to be forgotten as it always seems to ha have been forgotten. Uh, increase in focus on idle stuff. They believe that there's still room for growth in JP market. Global market isn't factored in. Yeah, they don't care about global market anymore because of the fact that EN hasn't been able to grow, pretty much. 2 billion yen studios in the works, amortization and stuff are being planned. The overseas strategy, their strategy is to throw more events, focusing on content creation, tournament and concert. Let's see if that works out for them. See how that works out for them, Cotton. EN branch isn't a factor in the development of the strategy, but they are preparing some stuff related to EN because they know it would look bad for investors. Investors would hate it if they just decided to, you know, 
abandon EN entirely because this was a big investment for them. So it would be bad for them to give it up. The current phenomenon of subscriber drop is subjected opinion and is normal. According to what they're saying, they say this because they don't want to panic investors. EN market is being ignored. Pivot more to JP. There are something like new studios and events for EN branch. It's basically going to be an ignoring the EN branch side. And it says, of course, we recognize that there have been some changes in our audience's behavior. But we have once again recognized that there are a certain number of people who continue to support us. Yes, there are. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. They have noticed that we're le they've noticed that we're leaving. Again, this is a subjective opinion. But in addition to the risk of VTubers graduating, I also think that the backlash or other scandals can cause the fan base to leave. No S, Sherlock. Of course. Finally, our freaking oh, God. My goodness. It's just it's just dumb. I'm sorry. Now we're getting to the memes. You all know that I love memes. I absolutely love memes. Uh, based on Kurosanji's quarter for report, we know which branch Kurosanji favors. Any color for the JP is standing in front. Uh, bad merchandise, low revenue, VTube News, Mario Kart, so then Termination, AR Live, V Rhapsody, Black Stream, EN is getting hit. It's getting hit with bombardment, but the only one that's being saved is freaking JP. Uh, base Q quarter four Q and A thing. It says basically. Add a quantitative report. The plan for fiscal year is more JP and not EN. I don't want to play with you anymore. Yeah, pretty much it gives that vibes. It gives those vibes for Nidhi Sanji EN uh, when it comes to any color's response to them. And they're not going to play with them anymore. And the final thing is, had a thought in the shower, sleeping did not get rid of it, had to make it real. Wonder how many will understand. And it's basically uh, quarter four at Nidhi Sanji EN. The, uh, you know, they're, they're tossing, they're basically holding up and tossing out EN pretty much. Uh, Nidhi Sanji JP overall is on the far, on our right and on our left is any color. So yeah, they're not, gonna, <laughs> they're freaking taking them out, taking out the trash or whatever you want to call it, or basically propping them up in a way. This is someone listing everything that they know about Rikutazumi and any color. Uh, it's basically, he's the founder and owner of any color. He has potentially revolutionized VTubing. In the sense that what they did, Ichikata, which became any color, uh, revolutionized live 2D VTubing. Because um, in the sense that before, when it came to Keys in the Eye, when it came to Tokino Soda with Hollow Live and Cover, they were doing 3D VTubing. They were using 3D models to VTube. Robocode did the same thing. Uh, live 2D wasn't really popular until any color started doing it. Uh, and then they showed it could be good. It could still get good, uh, you know, audiences and all that kind of stuff may have opened and fa uh, failed to get two previous businesses maybe a trust fund kid possibly dropped out from waseda university it has k lab and F sbi investment as part of any colored investors which is fine it's not sus it's not they're you know they're, they're regular stuff to going on incompetent is freaking incompetence has been showing so far with planning at least doesn't know how to easily predict the opinions of non-Japanese people because, you know, a lot of times it's hard to, to go out of your cultural experience, and that's normal. Worries about rats and other things. Any color may have been subjected to some internal politics caused by staff abhorring expansion overseas. That's a rat, you know. Uh, related to Riku above, Riku's relatives and her parents may also share Japan. Number one mentality, basic is xenophobia is what they're saying. Uh, we are take as, again, companies that are supposed to expand. So I don't think that's a thing. That's another rat, another rumor. Uh... This person worries about certain things, but of course, they, people are saying here, K-Lab used to do Love Live School Idol, so they're an actual, you know, company. Down here is the one that I mentioned that they they, they did uh, in 2021 or so, did uh, the Live 2D. Before everything was Studio 3D with Tokino Soda, you know, uh, like I said, Keys in the Eye, all those things. Iron Mouse also had her first stream using Face Rig and a free model. Face Rig was the big thing in the back in the day. And uh, Live 2D. Uh, VTube Studio or whatever you want to call it was what was uh, any colors kind of contribution to everything in the sense that they used it. As I have shown throughout the video uh, and I've shown throughout my videos, EN has not been a priority for Nidhi Sanji. Of course, do not go and harass and you know say anything negative to them in their chats. Do not even go into their chats if you don't like them. Just don't just forget about them. There are many other VTubers out there. Don't do anything negative to them, please. Uh, hate begins begets hate. You know, hate the, the harassment gets more harassment. It's just not good. And it can affect their mental health. Not good. So basically, this whole thing is saying hopefully they can leave. Hopefully, since they're now being seen as something that is not a priority, hopefully they can start leaving. Zero support and not actually interfering with livers may be fine. The issue was that with Selen and Pomu, they did act actively interfere with them getting opportunities. If they're really taking their hands off the EN branch, it would be fair better, ironically. Because the talents, if the talents are managing themselves and getting their own sponsorships and getting their own stuff like that, I think it would work better. It would be basically like them being uh, independent with benefits, I guess. But that would probably work better. But Nidisanji being the Japanese corporation that they are, they want full control over everything. 
this point, what's the point of giving them more than two thirds of their income? I mean, will it not end up being a similar path to Niji ID? Slowly bleed members until the branch shuts down. It might be one of those situations. It sucks for all the people who had hope in Niji Yen and joining Niji Yen and being a part of that organization. Doesn't look like it's going to go well. They have no choice but to abandon the end and depend on JP to reach their annual goals. And it sucks for the lot of people who are actually trying to do well in EN. This is an independent VTuber thing because it's Matara, Maid, and Sayu, which were all former Niji Sanji members, but they are now doing things on their own. Here we go. It says, Matara, please like this tweet. I'm not doing anything exciting, just being sick. Uh, Maid Mint says, please like this tweet. I want to ratio Matara-kan. Let me have one darn thing, you beast. And uh, Sayu's like, what? What if I liked both tweets? <laughs> I love that they're having interactions now. I love that that Sayu can feel comfortable interacting with Matara, interacting with Maid, you know, Maid Mint, interacting with all of them. I love it. I love that they made up during Off Kai. I love that they that all that positive stuff happened. I can only dream of an XDG collab at this point. Who knows? Maybe she could be part of a huge event next year. You don't know. Love them all. That's very cute. I remember when this whole debacle started, people started posting about Sayu being a survivor of Niji toxicity and people just hating her and telling everyone that she doesn't deserve it. Now she's finally getting what she deserves in the sense of all the love that she deserves. Because yes, she was mistreated for a very long time. Sayu was mistreated for a very long time and she didn't deserve that. Now she's finally getting the love. She got, you know, she talked about, talked it through with Matara. Matara and her were being adults, were being responsible, were being mature. And I love seeing that. Doki Bird, good news for Doki Bird. She has, in 129 days, she has uh, surpassed the level that she had with Selen. At least her current level. I think Selen had over 800k at one point. And then, you know, when the whole thing happened, she lost a lot of subscribers because, of course, she was terminated. So a lot of people left. Like, at least a lot, a lot of the uh, people that were strong left. Strong supporters of, of Selen and moved to Doki Bird. But either way, 738k in 129 days is nothing to shake a stick at nothing to be like oh that's nothing it's a lot she's getting gonna get to 1 million probably by the end of the year by this this uh rate 1 million dragoons for doki unless we beat the old number it's like beating raid boss after they patch it make it easier originally expecting 800k by december with her average 1k subs per two days she added may she's got 27k subscribers in the past two weeks so who and who knows anymore like it, it could be she's gonna surpass it she's having to surpass it by the end of the year uh the 800k which is the original one the number that we're hoping for She's going to be getting that. She deserves this and more. Onwards to 1 million and beyond. If there was enough evidence that Nidhi Sanji is the culprit of all the talents being hurt. And even one year and six months after, she's already breaking her own channel thing. So basically, Nidhi Sanji, in this sense, was holding Selen and others back. Because even Made Mint is doing very well. Uh, Matara Khan is doing very well. Michi Mochi V is doing very well. All the, all the former talents seem to be doing very well outside of Nidhi Sanji. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.